Hey everyone, it's been a while since I've done a video. I haven't done a channel update for quite some time. I'm currently not working on any new projects. I wish I was, but I'm still trying to catch up on all of my production. For those that aren't aware or have been uh, sleeping under a rock, I've bought a Neodin 8. It's going to be shipping on the 26th of October. It was supposed to be shipping this week, but it's been delayed because the boat that it was going to go on is full, unfortunately. The next boat is the 26th of October. So that's going to go from China to EM Logic in Sydney. They're going to do a complete and thorough check of the machine, make sure everything works perfectly before they send it down to me in Melbourne. So I've got about four or five weeks until the machine arrives. And right now I am mixing my time between production on the Charm High, which is killing me, and renovating the garage in preparation for the Neodin 8 coming in because it's massive, it can't fit in my office. I don't want it in my office. I basically want it in the garage on a, a fully set up, as automated as possible production line. So automated, pick and place, through conveyor, straight into the reflow oven. So it's all happening. It's um, not going as fast as I'd like, but it's faster than I expected. And meanwhile, I'm just trying to tune out as many boards as I can. I'm constantly running out of stock because I'm constantly doing small runs rather than large runs because of how frustrating the charm high is. My Feather S2 was released a couple of weeks ago. Um, pretty exciting. I've sold a few so far and uh, Adafruit officially released them on their store yesterday and sold out in 24 hours, which is exciting. So I'm currently preparing stock for them for the next order and also preparing stock for myself. I'm out of Tiny Picos, so I'm currently building Tiny Picos, but I'm now building revision 2 of my Tiny Picos, version 2. So they are the new single-sided boards only that I redesigned on a stream uh, three or four weeks ago. That's exciting. And I'm also making more nanos because I'm out of stock of nanos. It's a great problem to have. I'm not complaining. I just wish I didn't have to build this stuff on the charm hire. But it means that I just don't have any time for projects right now. I'd still gauge myself at about two months behind where I wanted to be pre-buying the Charm High. I've caught up a little bit, but it's still not enough. So I'm sorry there have been no new projects. There are actually projects in the works, but they're all stalled right now until I can just get over this hurdle and the Neodin 8 arrives, so I'll learn how to use it, get the production line running smoothly so I can just tune out boards as I need considerably faster than what I can do right now. So I wanted to give you a quick look at what I'm doing for the renovation in the garage. It's nothing glamorous. Basically, it's all about keeping the garage clean and insulated and temperature controlled so I can have the production line in there. It's not gonna look as fancy as my office, but it's going to look much better than it did before and hopefully be stacks cleaner than it was before. Okay, so let's have a look at the garage. Okay, it started raining, so I had to move all of my tools back in. I generally move my uh, my saw and my workbench and everything that you can see here out of the garage when I'm working so I don't get sawdust and stuff everywhere. But I've had to bring everything back in, including all the timber, because uh, typical Melbourne, it's been sunny all day and now it's out of raining. So, so far what I've done is I've taken this wall over here and I've framed it up and I've got insulation behind all of the MDF. I'm just using MDF, I'm not plastering. As I said, I don't really care how it looks. I just need it to be insulated and cleaner than what it was before. The actual cavities you can see here are for some custom shelves, which I'll go through with you all at a different time. Um, I've got all the timber to make them, but I don't have any space to cut the timber. The uh, only workbench I've got for woodworking in the whole entire area is that, which is yeah, about 10% the size of what I need to, um, to cut the timber for those shelves but I'll go through that another time that wall actually goes the whole way behind these shelves here and that was just all exposed brick before and that in combination with the ceiling which was just the silver cover was letting dust and crap and everything in so you can see here I've started putting some more just structural pine up on the roof and I'm going to be insulating and covering that with MDF as well the fluoro is going to go and it's going to be replaced with LED tube lights and right now that one fluoro lights up the whole garage and I've got the garage door on, open behind me 
just to let some light in because that actual fluoro light's useless. So I'll get a lot more lighting in here and it'll be a lot more even. The floor is going to stay concrete. Right now I've got some gym mats on the, the ground, but it'll all be concrete. And the plan is that the production line will run this way. So the pick and place will be down that end, it'll be a conveyor, and the oven will be down this end. So it's about keeping it all clean. Um, I've started, yeah, filling in all of the gaps up top here where the roof cavity used to be open. And I've got a bit more to do there, but the air conditioning guy is coming next week to put an air conditioner just above the door and then that'll all be cleaned up because it needs to run cables and piping and stuff through there. The left hand side of the garage is going to remain a mess. There's a toolbox in there, there's some shelves, a fridge. Uh, my laser is there but everything is just buried right now with timber and stuff, everything else to get things off the floor. So it doesn't look anything fantastic but it's already got uh, twice as much insulation as it had before. I'll eventually have a lot more and it's dramatically cleaner in terms of the amount of crap that's coming into the roof especially on a windy day but once I finish the ceiling get all that insulated and get all that covered again then that'll block out pretty much all of the holes I still have to solve what I'm going to do in this section just up here this is all just storage right now and that needs to be all closed up as well but I need to get everything off the shelf to do that so, that's my garage. That's the work that's been done so far. The thing I'm most excited about out of all of this is actually my custom shelves that I've designed. Because I need to get storage still in here. I'm losing all of my floor space. Because around the pick and place machine, I need to be able to walk. And I need to be able to get access to the feeders on both sides. Something that I can't do with the charm high right now. So, I wasn't able to leave shelving along the wall like I had before in here so I've had to lift the shelving up so these sections here will be comprised of two shelves like bookshelves but the front of them will be on an angle so the top shelf sticks out much wider than the bottom shelf and it's all recessed into the wall so I don't lose that 110 mil I keep that as part of the shelf and so it doesn't have to stick out as far and then above that is going to be storage for all of my packing. I've got, I don't know, three dozen boxes of, you know, bubble wrap and different size blue envelopes and all sorts of stuff for my packaging. Uh, that all normally sits on the floor in the garage, taking up floor space, which I can't use now. So it's all going to be elevated up along there and along the top there. Uh, under the purple down there is my server rack. It's got covering on it right now. You can see a little blue LED, that's my uh, 10 gig router um, that's covered because I was obviously making a lot of dirty mess in here and the oven's currently covered and I take that cover off whenever I use it and put it back on again so that's it, that's the garage it looks pretty messy it is um, I would have liked to have shown it to you with all the equipment out because it would have given you a better sense of space but this is all I've got to work with so sorry so that's what I've been up to uh, my days are kind of f full and mixed up between doing production early in the morning, packing orders from the night before, shipping them out, and then jumping on to the renovation. It's kind of weird that I haven't been working on projects, so I feel like I haven't been doing any making, but I'm out in the garage renovating my area out there for the pick and place line, and that's kind of making. Like, I've just switched soldering irons to, you know, circular saws and nail guns. <laughs> It's okay. It's uh, still scratching the itch of making, so I'm enjoying it. It's quite strenuous though. I'm getting pretty sore shoulders working with a nail gun up in the air. But that's okay. I'll get over it. Thank you all for watching. Again, sorry I haven't been getting videos out. Uh, I am still regularly streaming on a Wednesday. Daylight Savings kicked in, so it's a little bit later now of, you know, we're an hour earlier, but I've shifted at half an hour, so I get half an hour more sleep, and you all get to see it half an hour earlier. So feel free to come along and join me on my live streams. I do actually have some new boards that you haven't seen yet that I might assemble on my next stream. See how we go. Otherwise, to my patrons, you're awesome. I appreciate all of your generosity and your support. And until next time, catch you later. Bye.